hey, are you feeling confused and frustrated about how to go ahead and cash out those cryptocurrency gains you have in your trust wallet? But don't worry, I'm going to cover exactly how to do it today using Binance. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Trust Wallet. And if we see here, I'm going to use BNB as the example crypto throughout this video. Now, I have about $10 plus of BNB currently in my wallet. And that's what I'm going to be attempting to cash out as we move forward. So the first thing we want to do here is we're going to go ahead and hit on that send button that you see in the bottom left that has that red rectangle around it. And it's going to bring up this box asking us for a receipt address, our amount, and our memo. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and jump over to Binance. If you don't have Binance, you need to go ahead and create an account. I've provided my referral link in the description down below if you do need to use that. But once we go ahead and we get Binance set up, we want to click that little wallet looking icon at the bottom of the page there. And that's going to bring us to this list of cryptocurrencies that are currently in the wallet or could be in our wallet. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to scroll down until we see the cryptocurrency that we're trying to transfer in. So again, in this case, it's going to be BNB. I'm going to click on BNB and then we're going to be brought to this screen here. Now, what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and click on that deposit button, which is going to generate the address for us. Now, it's going to bring you up with this message warning you that you need to make sure you choose the right network when you transfer these tokens in. You want to make sure you get that right because choosing the wrong one could result in you losing your funds. So they typically have a couple options listed at the top and it defaults to the correct one. Now, go ahead and copy this address that you see here in the middle of the page. And we're going to jump back into Trust Wallet to go ahead and paste that in there. So in that recipient address box, we're going to take that address we got from Binance. We're going to go ahead and we are going to go ahead and paste that in that field. Now, you also see underneath it, we have this BNB amount that we get to choose how much of that token we want to go ahead and send over. So we're going to go ahead and click on the max button. And then the last field here is the memo field. Now, jumping back over into Binance, we'll see that there's a memo field at the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy that just as we did the address, and we're going to paste it back into Trust Wallet. Now, I highly advise sending a small test amount of crypto, not your whole lot, prior to go ahead and going through a big move of your funds just to make sure it goes through okay. But from here, we're going to go ahead and click on Next, and that's going to bring us to the next tab here. And this is going to give us an option to review the transaction, the fees associated, which aren't very much, and the ability to confirm it. After we go ahead and we click on that, we're going to see transfer is taking place. And those funds are no longer in my Trust Wallet account. They've been sent over to Binance. I even have this handy dandy little notification that pops up uh, from Trust Wallet. Let me know that the transaction has been sent out. Now, if I go ahead and I jump back into Binance, I'm going to update and see that my BNB total has updated to show the amount of BNB I had sent over. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on these arrows in the upper right because we need to sell this BNB for USD in order to actually put the funds in your bank. So after we click on that, it's going to pop up this option at the bottom. We're going to click on sell BNB. And then it's going to bring us to this page asking us how much of our BNB we want to sell. So again, for this example, I'm going to go ahead and click on sell all. Now on this page here, we're going to have the option go ahead and confirm that we want to go ahead and sell all of our BNB. And in return for selling it, we're going to receive USD tokens. So in this page here, it's going to say that the sell is in progress. We're simply going to click the OK button to proceed. And then we're also going to most likely get a notification from Binance letting us know that BNB was successfully sold and our account has been funded with USD tokens. Now, that we have that USD showing up in our account. We want to go ahead and click on that. And that's going to bring us to this option here to withdraw that USD. And that is where you go ahead and withdraw this money back into your bank account that you have linked through Binance. So again, I'm going to click that button. I'm going to choose the amount I want to withdraw, $10 and a penny, because why the hell not? Then we're going to go ahead and click on the withdraw button. And on the next page here, it's going to go ahead and give us a confirmation that that withdrawal has been submitted. Now you will likely get a notification of that as well as the fact that the withdrawal is showing pending in Binance. Some accounts are set up with an email verification. We'll actually go ahead and send you a disbursement confirmation email. So after you go ahead and click on that confirm disbursement in your email, the funds will be sent from Binance to your bank account and you're all done.
That's it. Now, if you find yourself feeling like this kangaroo confusingly still scratching yourself in the sand, just let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. I'll do my best to answer those for you. If you could just do me a favor and hit that like button, let the YouTube algorithm know that your boy's out here putting out some half-decent content, that'd be great. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!